guys, welcome to Spirits Uncovered. I'm Scott Warren, and you won't believe it, but this is episode 666. We made it! This channel has grown from strength to strength, and it couldn't have happened without you. So thank each and every one of you from my undead heart. For longtime fans, you may remember all the way back in episode 333, where we were hunting for ghosts in the East Gate Penitentiary, I said that if we ever made it to episode 666, I would go somewhere in my past, my history, to look for spirits. Now that moment is here, it's time to show you what I had in mind. This is Siffy Cap High, my old high school, and where I had my first paranormal experience. And you know what? That is when the school was open. Since then, the school has been shut down and abandoned due to structural issues. So you know what? We need to be careful? Hell no. It means we get this whole place to ourselves. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Now, people who are wondering, what was my first paranormal experience? I'll tell you, it was unfortunately in the little boy's room. I had just finished doing my business when I turned around to see the terrifying sight of Mr. Ellington. No, that wasn't a teacher when I was there. Mr. Ellington was the headmaster back in the early 50s. The story goes that kids at the time picked on Mr. Ellington so bad that he took his own life in the school. Apparently, when examining his body, the morgue found a note in his mouth promising that he would haunt the school for the rest of time, making sure that the school would be shut down. Well, it looks like Mr. Ellington's promise pulled through. I mean, look at this place! Now. The boys' toilets are on the ground floor. I think we should start there, where my ghost hunting story began. Here we are, the little boy's room. Luckily, I went to the toilet before I left home, as these toilets look gross. Right, I think first we should try to reach out to Mr. Ellington via our spirit box. For newcomers to the channel, the spirit box sweeps over multiple radio channels at a high speed. Spirits are able to use these channels to communicate with us, the living. Let's give it a try. Mr. Ellington. Can you hear me? We are reaching out to Mr. Ellington. Please make yourself known. Mr. Ellington? Do you remember me? Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate? Nothing. Fine. Maybe we are too early for the spirits in the toilet. Or maybe they just don't need to go potty right now? I have an idea. Let's place a walkie-talkie in the sink and explore the rest of the school. You never know. Maybe we'll be able to hear someone when we're not in here. Okay, let's head to the second floor. There is a library up there that always felt really creepy. We can do a couple of experiments while we're in there.
Okay, here's an idea. Let's place our motion capture light cam at the top of the stairs here. If anything comes up, the light will go off and a picture will be taken which will be sent directly to my phone. Cool, huh? The library. Yeah, kids, this is where children used to actually read books. Spooky. This library really reminds me of that opening scene in the Ghostbusters movie. God, I hate it being in here. So, what shall we do? How about we use our EMF detector? Again, newcomers, this device detects the electromagnetic fields, which spirits are said to be made up of. Now, this building has been closed for a while now, so we won't have any interference from any electronics. So, if I get a reading, it truly could be a spirit in close proximity. Hey, it's going off! Whoa, uh, okay, okay, uh, let's try and communicate. Spirit, you seem to be setting off my device here. Did you know that? Whoa, guys, it's working! Okay. Now you know how this works. How about you make our device spike once for no and twice for yes? Do you understand? Okay, what shall we ask? Uh, Spirit, should the viewers of this episode like and subscribe? <laughs> Only joking, you don't have to answer that. Spirit, is your name Mr. Ellington? Damn. No response. I think I scared it away. Serves me right for joking around. Uh, I think someone may be using the toilet. I guess we'll go back down. Ah! Uh. 